Good evening, and welcome to the InfoWars Nightly News. I'm D Lake for Prez. I'm not Raymond Kurzweil. I'm not Eric Chison. I'm not David Christian. I'm not Alexander Penov. I'm not Victor Petrenko or Alexander Belonkin. Okay? I wasn't at this GF 2045. I'm not a famous scientist, inventor, or author. I'm not a professor of astrophysics. I'm not the president of an international big history association. I'm not an astrophysicist. I'm not a corresponding member of RAS or head of laboratory psychology. I'm not a NASA senior research fellow. I'm none of those things. I told you, I'm just a reporter. I'm just D-Lake for Prez. These apparently are the... Uh, transhumanists. This is real life, folks. This isn't Prometheus. This isn't the TED conference. No, this is the GF 2045. And they uh, released a video, 2045, a new era for humanity. And it comes equipped with a brilliant narrator who's got a great voice. The music is great. And, uh, the music is parallel to everything that the guy with the accent is saying. You know, when he starts talking about lazy Americans or lazy people, you know, it's like, romp, romp, romp. So we need, we, we immediately need some robots and some aliens and some other stuff that will pre-program in all this summer's movies for you. Superheroes, Super Soldier Serum, Incredible Hulks, Iron Men, aliens, all right? Look, I don't have a fancy accent, and I'm not going to play a bunch of uh, background music or show you a bunch of video images. It's just me, here, in my studio, and I'm going to read to you this GF 2045 timeline. The global future, according to these guys. The transhumanists, 2012 to 2013. The global economic and social crises are exasperated. The debates on the global paradigm of future development intensifies. New transhumanist movements and parties Russia. emerge. 2045 transforms into world 2045. Simultaneously, the 2045.com international social network for open innovation is expanding. Here, anyone interested may propose a project take part in working on it, or fund it, or both. In the network, there are scientists, scholars, researchers, financiers, and managers. Anything that you send to their .com, and they might give you that forward slash address, if you're a scientist, I suggest you get your own .com. 2013 to 2014. New centers working on cybernetic technologies for the development of radical life extension rise. The race for immortality starts. Oh, it starts? It doesn't start until then? Hmm. So I guess no one's been working on it up until next year? 2015 to 2020. The Avatar is created. We already have a cool name and it sounds really cool. A robotic human copy controlled by thought via brain computer interface. It becomes as popular as a car. Does it become as popular as Bruce Willis in that movie Surrogates? How much money did that movie make? 2020. That's a very specific year. In Russia and in the world appear a testing mode. Oh. We already know that eight years in advance that there will be a testing mode in 2020. And don't try to test before 2020 because we don't want to mess up the timeline, okay? Several breakthrough projects. Android robots replace people in manufacturing tasks. Android robot servants for every home. Ooh, like the Jetsons. Thought-controlled avatars to provide telepresence in any place of the world and abolish the need business trips. Flying cars. 
thought-driven mobile communications built into the body or sprayed onto the skin. All those things sound so healthy. And uh, I can't wait to get some guinea pigs in that lab. 2020 to 2025, an autonomous system providing life support for the brain and allowing it interaction with the environment is created. The brain is transplanted into Avatar B. With Avatar B, man receives new, expanded life. Oh. You know on 9-11, you know what the most popular comment was that morning, the day that it happened? It was just like a movie. Man, it was just like a movie. I looked up and it was just like a Hollywood movie. Yeah. Because all these Hollywood movies, that's why Alex talks about Prometheus and stuff like that. That's why I just did a special report, Aliens vs. Predator. Because all the... This movie is described... This is, looks like the script to surrogates. No joke. Okay? Or Gamer. Or something like that. Right? Or Terminator. Hey, what year do we get to the Hunter Killers in the complete Skynet control? Is that 2025. The new generation of avatars provides complete transmission of sensations from all five sensory robot organs to the operator. 2026, the avatars take over and kill us all! <laughs> no, that didn't happen. Not according to this timeline. I'm sorry, I interjected that. 2030 to 2035. Oh, ten years after the avatars are in full control. Rebrain, the colossal project of brain reverse engineering is implemented. World science comes very close to understanding the principles of consciousness. It's going to happen a lot sooner than that, pal. And when it does, I'm going to be on one side. You guys are going to be on the other. 2035. The first successful attempt to transfer one's personality to an alternative carrier. The epoch of cybernetic immortality begins. Oh, that doesn't even begin until 2035? I guess you guys are just trying to give yourself some buffer zone since you've already been working on it for over 20 years. And all your plans expand past 30 years. And how many of you old geezers are still going to be alive and in working in your labs? None of this makes any sense except to the transhumanists and their little whack-off circle jerk parties of imagination and fantasy. Okay? But in reality, you know, these, these uh, systems have been incrementally creeping in on us. Wait for 2040 to 2050 when bodies made of nanorobots can take any shape or rise alongside hologram bodies. And in 2045 to 2050, drastic changes in social structure and in scientific and technological development. All the prerequisites for space expansion are established for the man of the future. War and violence are unacceptable. The main priority of his development is spiritual self-improvement. A new era dawns. The era of Neo-Humanity. Oh, Neo. Like in the Matrix. Wow. And I'm sure we'll all have uh, the luxury of all this new advanced technology. And I'm sure, uh, just like Facebook now, we'll all have a forward, forward slash address. And uh, Zuckerberg, and we'll all get Zuckered. And he'll make the billions. And we'll make the zeros. And... And uh, we'll help fill in all the gaps, and we'll help dig the holes, and then fill the holes in, and live in our rat traps, and try not to get our tails caught, and we'll have tails by 2025, trust me. And uh, probably acid blood, and we'll probably uh, have the desire to kill one another, and you know, it's all coming. It can be instantly administered in a shot, and or just a simple microchip implantation, and you know, I think flying cars are going to happen before 2020. Come on, we already got drones. You know, let's just switch, switch all that money from drones to flying cars. I mean, what is wrong with you scientists? You guys are a bunch I'm of nerds. I'm delayed for Prez. The InfoWars nightly news. I'm human, okay? And I'm not with the transhumanists.